Hey, if you want to learn how to cook one of these, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We just, I just washed my hands because look at here. I'm just gonna cook a steak. I ain't been fishing today. I ain't been, I just been building some duck calls. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna build a steak. See, it's a cowboy style. You know my saying, every steak needs a handle. And we got a handle, baby. Look at there. Like a tomahawk. Wow. That's how it got its name. When they was driving cattle, got down there by Mexico and they'd make that and they'd cut this off and they'd make all that. They'd put it in a bowl and they'd boil that down and they'd put it over bread and gravy. But tomahawk steak, that's what we're gonna cook today. And a pretty big one at that. Me and the old cameraman. Look, you gotta be nice to that cameraman. Nice to the cameraman, you show up on TV a lot. I done learned that. So we're gonna cook a big steak. I'm gonna reverse sear it, and I'm gonna cook it slow, slow, because I want all that smoke to go on it. I'm gonna put it on the pit boss, put it on that top rack by the exhaust where all that smoke goes out, and we're gonna cook it to about 140. I'm gonna put a probe in it, and when it gets to 140, then I'm gonna open that drawer to the fire and reverse sear it. Now, if you don't have a pellet grill and you just got a charcoal grill, you can build your charcoal into one side and put this over to the side to do it like this. And it'll really absorb all that smoke and get a real great, great smoky flavor. And then you can put it over there and reverse there. So here we go. I'm gonna make some seasoning, some SPG. It's simple, salt, pepper, garlic. All right, I'm gonna put one teaspoon. I'm gonna put my deal on one teaspoon. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, a little bit more because I like pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic. And we're gonna, and we're gonna put that on here real good. I'm gonna pat it in. Boy, that's a lot of steak. I'm gonna pour that in there so I can get the sides of it real good. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm excited. I want all that to be in there. There we go, it's seasoned up. You can actually make you a big supply of this. You can get you an empty powdered garlic container and put one cup of salt, one cup of pepper, half a cup of garlic powder. Two twenty-five. Well, it's actually two thirty. So here we go. Let's put it on. Walk away from it, just walk away. Just keep an eye on that temp. When it gets about 140, then we're gonna slide that thing back. Then we're gonna let it rest for about five minutes in a bed of butter. And then we're gonna eat. So, see you in a minute. We're just sitting here waiting, watching that temperature go up. I tell you, since I started using that probe and, and cooking by temperatures, my flavor has went way up. I tell you, cause you get it just right. You get it right there where people's cook before chefs and stuff and they know the right temperature for the right flavors and the right tenderness or whatever, but whatever it's called, but it worked. I just know when I started using a probe, or not one that just stays in there, but one you can check. If you do that, your woman's fixing to be real happy with you on that grill. I'm 
fixing to lay this steak in a butter bed. A butter bed. We low and slow the floor. Your woman's gonna love this. Get you some candles and light them. Get some flowers. You can get a salad already in a bag. In little bags, like at Super One or Brookshire's or somewhere. And you can put it in a bowl, throw the bag away, she'll never know. Get her some nice vinaigrette dressing. I'm a thousand island man myself. You sound pretty experienced in this. Uh... Oh yeah. Brownie points, baby. How you think I get to fish all the time? Oh yeah. Open your fire gate. You're gonna put this right directly over the fire. Turn it up a little bit. Now, you can do the same thing on charcoal grills. You just build your fire on one side, put your steak on the other. When it gets to temperature, then you put it over the flames like this. About one minute on each side. Woo, look at there. Oh yeah. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. almost dropped that baby. It's so tender, good grief. We're gonna let it rest. Wrap it up. Ooh, that thing's hot. All right, I want you to look how fine that thing looks. I mean, that looks good. All I did was one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, well, I added a little more, and half a teaspoon of powdered garlic, SPG. That's all I put on it. That way you're gonna taste all that meat. Ain't gonna be no steak sauce on this one. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, hot. Pink center. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> My taste buds are just exploding. <laughs> that is perfect. Your woman is going to love you for that. Mmm. Wow, really wow. Look, I hope you like the content we're putting out. If you do, give us a like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next week because I, I got to finish this off. <laughs> Woo, hmm, I'm going to save some for Miss Paula though. Oh man.